Well, I want to give a shout out. Thanks to my good friend, George from Kentucky. Uh, George has been the subject of a couple of my last videos. And it so happens that uh, he gave me a call yesterday with a new uh, incident um, going on with his dealership. Uh, George has been, I guess what I would say, he's he's been selling a few cars, but things have been really easy for him. And so now he's run into a few challenges and we're going to address one of those challenges today and that's a uh, title extension form. Now, occasionally you're going to run across the deal to where you've purchased a car and there's no more room on the back of the title to assign the new owner that you've sold the car to. Uh, it's very common, happens a lot, and um, we're gonna talk about this title extension form, and in a lot of states, in particular, Kentucky. Yesterday, uh, the lady at the county court clerk's office, or the clerk's office, there in Kentucky had told George that he had to have a affidavit um, for this um, to file his paperwork. And George looked on uh, trying to find this affidavit. She even gave him a form number. Uh, they couldn't pull it up. He called me and said, I don't know what she's talking about. Do you know of such a form? And he told me his situation was that he could not uh, reassign the title to the new owner as you have to do. And, and so it turns out that what he actually needed was the title extension form. Now, every state has a different title extension form. And that's another thing that I want to go into. If you're in Tennessee, you have a Tennessee title extension form. If you are in Kentucky, you have a Kentucky title extension form. Very important that I want to point out that if you have a Kentucky title and the back of it is full, it must and cannot be reassigned, it must be accompanied by a title extension form. Okay? What is the title extension form? It looks, as George put it yesterday, exactly like the back of a title. It just allows the dealer and let me say this, dealer only can use a title extension form. No individual, no car flipper, nobody other than a dealer can use a title extension form. These forms, again, only available from the state or an approved state vendor. They're on a special paper, just like a title just like a check. They're on a secured paper. So you cannot print them off off of any computer. If you're a dealer, especially a new dealer, what you want to do immediately, immediately is contact your state or an approved state vendor. Now, an, a vendor for the state may be um, uh, Independent Auto Dealers Association, which they're all over every state in the union. Also, Auto Dealer Supply has these forms every state on their website. They are approved auto uh, dealer uh, state vendor for these forms. So, keep it in mind, if you're in a situation and if you're an auto dealer, it is imperative that in order for you to do business, that you have these title extension forms. Keep a lot of them. We order them in lots of 50 or 100 at a time. I, they're not very expensive. I think they're like 10 or 12 bucks for 50 of them, but you want to keep them there uh, at all times. Uh, anyway, when you have the back of a title, the things that must accompany these uh, vehicles when they go to the courthouse, of course, is a bill of sale, the title, and the reassignment. The back of the title will serve as a reassignment unless it's full. It's going to have to have that title extension form. So those documents have to go in order for the uh, vehicle to be reassigned to the new owner. George uh, found out yesterday 
that often these state county departments are full, and I don't know how to put it, but are full of authoritative people that actually don't know what the hell they're talking about. In some cases, a lot of them, ours in particular, we're there so much, Shane is there so much. He has a wonderful relationship with our local registration department. And uh, he has a wonderful relationship, but I do know of those that just have a horrible uh, experience when they go to get a title registered for a customer. You want to keep in mind, be as nice as you can, because I don't know why, maybe they deal with a lot of issues at these departments, but especially the ladies behind the desk, they can become bitches. I mean, really, they can become bitches. So be as nice as you possibly can. Uh, you know, if you've got questions, uh, I always put my email uh, in the description box. Of course, it's one of my default. Send me your question. Of course, I, I encourage comments as well, and, and I'll get back and answer it because a lot of these, like I said, these state departments or these county departments, they, they, George, for instance, had completely a, I don't know where the form number came from that he gave to me. I don't understand where um, the, even the terminology that the lady used. But as far as I know, uh, the title extension form, when George called me up, he was in a jam. Hey, I, I need to get this car transferred. He couldn't wait on the mail to get a title extension form. So he did, I'm assuming, uh, I know that he got it resolved and we talked about the last I heard he was going over to uh, his local auto auction there where he bought the car and get a title extension form. Auction companies will have them. Keep in mind, they have to pay for them. They're having to use a state form as well. So they're not freely giving these things away. In an emergency, you can get help to get that title extension form to resolve your problem. But it is your responsibility to maintain a supply of them at your dealership. And we're going to go over other forms that the state requires that you fill out. Some of these forms uh, can be done uh, on regular paper that you can print off on the computer. Uh, some, of course, won't be. Uh, but we're going to go over some of those forms because, uh, you know, it's just not something that we've talked about a lot and available. So I hope that you find this uh, uh, content interesting. Please subscribe if you do. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.